Hello, good day everyone. For those who want to play Fire Emblem Engage in PC because you don't own a Nintendo Switch, then this is the perfect video tutorial for you to watch because today I'm going to show you and how to get the files that you needed to play this game and how to set it up and how to optimize it into your PC. So first of all, what you need is that you have to have and install the latest build of Ryujinx Emulator. So this is how Ryujinx Emulator looks like. And for those who are new and who do not know, uh, Ryujinx Emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator that can play Nintendo Switch games into your PC. So, uh, this is Ryujinx Emulator and this is also the files that you need because Ryujinx Emulator alone cannot play Nintendo Switch games without this file. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get Ryujinx Emulator. So, go to your web browser and just type in Ryujinx Emulator. Hit search. The first result would be uh, regions.org that is their official website go to that go to the download page and if you have a mac uh, system then you can download the mac os version here but it should be in mac os 11 or later version or if you have linux then you can download here and for this video tutorial i'm currently using the windows 11 latest version 22h2 and i have updated it in every uh update that it has so it's working and it does not have any issues at all so you can download it here and i'm just going to skip the download and installation process for the reuging simulator because uh anyone can do that and it's really easy to do so i'm just going to minimize that and i'm going to assume that you have already installed um, reuging simulator so what's the next step the next step is that you boot up reuging simulator you should run it and you will be met with certain errors that saying that you will need some certain files installed into your reuging simulator so what are those files? Uh, these are the files that you need to have into your Ujinx Emulator. These files are from the Nintendo Switch itself. Uh, these are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. And it should be in the latest version, which is version 15, so that it can boot up Fire Emblem Gage. So if you're asking me where you can get all of these files, legally speaking, you can only get these files through a modded Nintendo Switch console, which has a custom firmware installed in it. Because if it has a custom firmware, then you can access your Nintendo Switch system files, which are the keys and the firmware. So you can just copy all the keys files and the firmware files into your PC. And in order to get Fire Emblem Engage, you should own the game, you should buy the game, and you have a physical copy of the game, and then boot it up into your um, Nintendo Switch modded console, and then digitally back it up into an XCI file format. But if you don't own a Switch, or if you have a Switch but don't know how to mod or how to do the things that I have said, then I'm just going to save you that hassle and teach you where to get all these files. In order to get these files, I'm just going to leave a QR code here wherein you can scan it with your QR code reader. And once you've scanned your QR, QR code reader, you will be redirected to the download page wherein you can get all these files. That is appropes.com. And once you are in that site, um, uh, hover down to the middle part of the page, you can get the Fire Emblem Engage XCI file format. And in the bottom part of the page, you can get the keys and the firmware files. So be sure to check out the whole entirety of the website so that you can get all of these files. So now, I'm going to assume that you have already uh, downloaded all of these files. So it's time to install them into your Ryujinx emulator. In order to do that, go to Ryujinx, go to File, go to Open Ryujinx folder, and then go to System and then just open this keys zip file here and then just drag and drop or copy and paste these files into that folder. If this is your first installation, then this folder should be empty. So I'm just gonna close in that. Now, the next step is to close this. Then it's time to install the firmware. To install the firmware, you have to go to tools, then install firmware, install a firmware from XEI or zip file, and then choose on the firmware file, which is version 15. Then wait for the notification to say install firmware and hit yes. And it will say successfully installed version 15.0.1. Meaning that your Ujinx emulator is now fully capable of booting up any Nintendo Switch games such as Fire Emblem Gage. So what's the next step? Now the next step is to optimize your Ujinx emulator to run Nintendo Switch games such as Fire Emblem Gage. To do that, go to options and go, go to settings. And in this part, just pause the video and copy my settings from here on out, okay? So in the game directories, this is where you will put your Nintendo Switch games. 
And again, your Nintendo Switch games should be in XEI or NSP file format for using emulator to boot up that game. So just like mine here, the Fire Emblem Engage is in XCI file format. So it will boot up that game into this emulator. So the next step now is go to input. And my advice is that you should play Nintendo Switch games into your PC using um, a controller such as the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So I'm just going to um, connect my Pro Controller now and then go to the configure. Player 1 configure and you can choose the nintendo switch pro control from here on out and you can just map it up according to your liking if you have an xbox controller or a playstation controller or any controller at all that can be detected in pc then you can just connect it here and map it up to according to your liking so hit save the next step is go to system so just copy my settings here be sure to copy everything then the graphics tab most important part and the graphics backend should be on. Graphics backend should be Vulkan. The preferred GPU should be your graphics card, your dedicated graphics card. Enhancements should be enable shader cache and enable macro HLE. The resolution scale should be two times so that it will uh, the game will look like much better than the native resolution of the Nintendo Switch. And also tropic filtering should be auto and aspect ratio should be in 16 by 9. And once done, what? And once that is done, then just apply and hit save. Now your Ryujin simulator is now fully capable of playing Fire Emblem Engage. So uh, a little bit of disclaimer, I'm not going to show you a gameplay of Fire Emblem Engage into my PC because we all know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of content and they don't want it to be shown in YouTube or any video platform in the social medias. So I hope you do understand that part because as you know, Nintendo will just... Um, delete or ban your entire channel if you do this kind of tutorials so i hope you guys do understand on that part but if you followed all the steps that i have shown you in installing and optimizing uh regions emulator to run fire emblem engage then you can also play all of the previous released nintendo switch games into your pc so if you have some questions regarding the installation process of uh Fire Emblem engage into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them. Thank you for watching and see you next time. So please do subscribe to my channel and goodbye for now.